everyone and welcome to our craft so the aim of this channel is to share some of my knowledge about traditional archery and also show you how I make some of the accessories for this sport um, my hope is that you will pick up some tips as well as uh, maybe come up with some ideas on how to, to craft your own accessories and in fact this is how I got into merging my passion for archery and a DIY and the reason is when I got started with a traditional archery and I was using wooden arrows um, at the beginning I wasn't that good I was missing the target and all of a sudden I was just breaking arrow after arrow after arrow so I figured well if I just start learning how to make my own arrows maybe I'll save some money as well as learn get dive deeper into what it takes to practice archery and the, the craft of archery not just the the craft and art of archery not just the, the sport as we know it nowadays so this video it's gonna be a follow-up from my first video if you haven't checked it out I really encourage you to do so give it a like subscribe if you can it really helps and keeps us motivated for making more other videos on that note, if there's anything in particular that you would like me to show or a, an idea for a video, please put that in the comments. I'll be more than happy to, to discuss it or consider it. So as I mentioned, the next videos are going to be a follow up from my first video. And like in my first video where I showed the whole process of how to make an arrow from beginning to end without any explanation, in the next videos, we are gonna be taking each of those different steps that go into making an arrow and I'm gonna be explaining everything that I do, why I do it and how I've learned to do it in a better way, etc, etc. And that brings us to the topic of today's video. So we are gonna start with um, perhaps a note on whether it is worth investing money in some of the uh, fletching jigs that you can find in the market or whether it is better, um, as I found, to just build your own fletching jig. Fletching jigs. Is it worth spending your money on fletching jigs? It really depends on uh, how much you're willing to pay. Uh, you can find some very cheap fletching jigs in the market. The, the, one of the, the low end ones would cost you around $10 or eight pounds something like that if you are in the UK as I am um, these low-end fletching jigs will be made out of plastic they'll they can be a bit flimsy these are fletching jigs that I would never use because some of the arrows that I tend to make are uh, thicker than standard arrows and they will also be heavier and these uh, fletching jigs they they are they can be quite unstable in for that purpose then you can have some mid-range fletching jigs and all the way going up to um, high-end uh, fletching jigs like um, Wiesenburger, I think, if I'm not mispronouncing it, which is the German make. Um, that is a really good fletching jig. However, what I found uh, about all of these jigs is that they are very limited in what you could do. So if you're after fletching uh, arrows placing the, 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 the feather in a straight uh, way using um, five mil carbon arrows stuff like that uh, by all means you know a standard fletching jig will do the job but if like me you like to play around and, and do different types of arrows using different types of fleshing most of these fletching jigs and that includes even the the most expensive uh, fletching jigs they won't give you that much flexibility which is quite surprising considering how much some of these jigs can cost so in my case um, I just didn't think um, the low-end jigs they weren't made they weren't sturdy enough for my needs but more importantly it just didn't give me the flexibility that I needed so I like making arrows that have uh, different thickness different lengths in terms of the, the the feathers that I fletched on the arrow 
um, the, the length of the knocks are gonna vary as well but also if I wanted to say put um, a straight feather but I wanted it to offset it a few degrees most fletching jigs won't allow you to do so and that is the reason why I decided to make my own of course I'm not the first person to come up with their own designs some of the some of, some of the features that I have included in this uh, jig uh, you would have seen in some uh, other designs of other people uh, but this is what I came up with in any case kind of combining different ideas and also making it in such a way that would fulfill my needs uh, so it's very simple made out of wood all recycled wood and um, so we have these holders this is basically just a, a piece of metal uh, um, let me get an arrow shaft so basically this would allow me to hold in place the arrow so it is stable there just very simple feature there there are some marks on the inside guides for fletching if you notice here we have uh, some magnets these are magnets that would allow you to put any uh, clamp now you will notice this clamp actually is the uh, fletching clamp of a Wiesenberger you can find the clamps on their own quite cheap especially if you buy them second hand I paid for this one roughly seven pounds or something like that for a second hand clamp and the reason why it is worth buying this clamp even though you can make them is because this is a elliptical clamp and that is that can be quite that can be quite tricky to actually make and get that elliptical a uh, wrap around the shaft quite perfectly if you are just DIYing it but if you have this which is the most important part of the jig the rest is just a holder for the clamp and all you need for that is just a set of strong magnets and you can just place the clamp in there not just this clamp but any clamp this is a straight clamp and I can decide I can move back and forwards etc etc um, and all all you have to do is just get the clamp the clamp is relatively comparatively cheaper to just buying the whole jig um, can't remember how much uh, I bought this uh, clamp online but it's it was like five pounds or something like that um, worth it in my opinion for the material uh, making a clamp out of a PVC sheet is not difficult it's time consuming but if you want something slightly more robust not a bad idea um, better off just spending time and energy in building a good uh, fletching jig as I was saying one of the reasons what I thought it's better to come up with my own jig is because then I could use different clamps and I can use different lengths so in this in this jig if I'm doing medieval uh, medieval arrows where the fletching is very long I can always move this farther away and I can have a larger clamp that would come all the way up here one of the other features is that if you see there's a slit here which goes all the way uh, through uh, to the bolt and that bolt is connected to this uh, wing nut which allows me to tighten it and tighten it in place now if I loosen that up I can move this whole holder the whole piece that is holding the, the, the clamp backwards and forwards just loosen it up a bit more so I can move this in or out depending on what I'm working on some some clamps will require it to go slightly uh, slightly further onto the shaft so if I'm working with the elliptical uh, clamp you, you will have to go a little bit over the shaft in order to, to get a proper wrap around on the feather so this feature being able to move in or out onto the shaft is is, is a key feature here now if I'm working uh, on a straight fletching straight clamp um, but I still want to kind of offset uh, to a certain degree the, the, the feathers if I'm working with uh, short feathers uh, two inches feathers or three inches feathers um, I can 
angle it off or set it off by a few degrees by again moving it from here I can control that depending on the clamps depending on what you're doing you might actually want to um, lean it over and that is something that you could also control here and with that we come to the end of this video uh, making your own fletching jig may not be what you need um, like I said I wanted to share what I built because I am somebody who uh, builds different arrow shafts we uh, I work with different fletchings um, I like playing around with all of these variables so for me having the um, possibility of moving all of the different elements and placing the, the feathers in different ways was uh, something that I wanted to be able to do. When I was building my fletching jig I certainly tried to think ahead of time. Uh, I knew I wanted, to, I wanted it to be as flexible as possible so that's why I made it the way I did. And um, I hope that gives you guys some ideas in terms of what you could do. Of course there are other designs out there that other people have done. It's all about comparing and sharing different ideas and see what suits you. I hope to make another uh, video this time probably I'll be just uh, building another fletching jig from scratch and um, I've been thinking of doing another fletching jig uh, where the arrow doesn't rest horizontally but um, stands uh, vertically and that's just because of uh, convenience so sometimes when, when I'm fletching arrows and the arrow uh, lies horizontally that means you need to clear a slightly wider a working space area so having it standing vertically it's certainly going to be an upgrade but that's what i hope is going to be the the next video on the topic of fletching jigs uh, thanks for sticking around don't forget to give it a like and um, see you in the next video